Well, first of all, I want to thank International Leadership Foundation for bestowing two awards, one on my father, Dr. James S.C. Chow, for the organizational excellence of his company in philanthropy, and also the foundation that he and my mother started, which is the Ruth Mulan Chu Chow Foundation. It's the Zhao Zhu Mulan Ji Jin Hui. Mm -hmm. And secondly, I'm here on behalf of my sister, Angela Chow, Zhao Anji. She's being uh, awarded and recognized for the Inspirational Leader Award. She is a young leader, uh, a pioneer in her own generation. She's very accomplished, and she is in mainstream America. And yet she's always thinking about Asian Americans, Chinese Americans, and how to advance the interest of Chinese Americans in mainstream America. So we are very gratified that uh, ILF has recognized uh, these two awards and has bestowed them upon my father and my sister. We're really sorry that they can't be here, which is why I am here. I'm receiving these awards uh, in their honor and they want to convey mm -hmm. how appreciative they are to receive these awards and uh, to give their best regards to everyone as well. You know, a lot of people may not know what a difficult time my father and my mother endured when they first came to America. So I know there's so many other immigrants, uh, young students tonight, who are you know, part of a family that may have difficulties, uh, that are trying to learn about the world, and I hope that my mother's and my father's example will show them that despite life's challenges, that personal fortitude, determination, hope, and optimism can do a great deal in making a better life. So I have, I come from a family of six daughters. Mm -hmm. So I am daughter number one, and Angela is daughter number six. And there's a 20 year difference uh, between us. Yes. We come from the same father and the yes. same mother. Angela is a very good person. So even though she is born in America and she is very much involved and comfortable in mainstream America, she is a wonderful combination of both East and West. And I give my parents a great deal of the credit because my parents always emphasized combining the best of East and West. So when we grew up, I don't think we had any conflicts. Mm -hmm. My parents always said, you don't have to separate the two, East and West. And it, your job is to integrate and take the best yes. from East and West. And I think that's a wonderfully wise philosophy that made us more successful in maneuvering the challenges of a multicultural environment. So there was no conflict, in fact, if anything, you know, we wanted to take the best from both worlds and integrate the best. So uh, she's a very good person. She actually understands a great deal of Chinese philosophical thinking, which is very unusual for someone who was born here and raised here all her life. And she, of course, speaks Chinese as well. And she's very, in Angela is very interested in um, U.S.-China relations. And she is very active in bringing together the cultural aspects between Asia and America. So, for example, she is um, on the board of the Lincoln Center. Yeah. She's on the board of uh, Metropolitan the Metropolitan Museum of Opera. Art. Uh, she chaired the uh, opera ball, uh, which is a very mainstream thing to do. But again, she is very much um, concerned about contributing herself and bringing China and uh, the United States closer together. Yes, yes. At noontime today, uh, one of our speakers mentioned a very interesting quote. Yesterday is gone, tomorrow will never come. Yes. And today we just focus on our future. So I think for ILF, we're very focused on future because we really want to educate our young uh, people to involve public servant. 
And so I think that's also uh, Zhao Zhu Mulan Foundation. They're very, very focused on education mm -hmm. to help the young people mm -hmm. to grow and to make our community a better and strong place. And personally, I feel uh, Chow family is really a legend or it's a legacy of our community. We are so fortunate that we have them. So for this particular organization award, this is the highest uh, you know, award we want to present to Dr. Chow and also uh, Zhao Zhu Mulan Foundation because uh, their uh, leader in philanthropy and also inspirational leader award is to Angela Chow. I really think we, have, we can learn so much from Chow family because we look at Secretary Chow's accomplishment, we're just so proud of her. She dedicated all her life as a public servant. But if you think about that, she's also the outcome of the Chow family's education. Exactly. Yes. So we feel to learning from Dr. Secretary Chow is really important for our children, for our kids. The, for learning the value behind Chow family, I think it's more important for all the family in our community. And uh, they all focus on education, and IOF is focused on education. So I'm just so proud. I'm just so proud. I just feel so honored to have them. Because they set a great example. You could be very high position, but also you're down to the earth. Secretary Chow, she always talk about it, uh, her heritage, yes. always talk mm -hmm. about her family. I have opportunity here to meet with uh, Dr. Chow in person. And I sh he is so down to the earth, so care about everybody. And also he's very, everything he's done is very appropriate. And you can see the children, they learn that from yes. him. So I think there's a lot of immigrant into this country. To learn from Chow family, I feel it's so critical. It's a must. We really have to learn Great. that. And another important thing is what happened, the relationship between US and China. They had set a great example how they can you know, work with the different parties. And uh, I feel it's very important for young people to understand the next you know, US-China relations is one of the most important things for the 10, 21st century. And also because he, they have set a great example, you can work all the harm. I also want to mention that this award is very special because it recognizes my father as a leader. Mm -hmm. My father was always a leader and everything he did, he. Uh, with his philanthropy is once again blazing new trails for Asian Americans. You know, most Asian Americans are not active in philanthropy, and yet it is such a mainstream activity for America. Mm -hmm. And so my father, in his philanthropic giving, is trying to lift the image of Chinese Americans here in America, and to demonstrate that we are a contributing member of America mainstream, and also to facilitate the assimilation of Asian Americans you know, into mainstream America. Mm -hmm. So my father's gift you know, at Harvard is very special. It's the first building ever named after um, someone with a Chinese surname. Yeah. It's the first building named after a woman on campus. And my father has also established a special scholarship fund with special emphasis on helping Chinese Americans, Asian American students to access education. So his gift is not only to honor the memory and the legacy of my mother, but also to help other Asian Americans to integrate and to access opportunities in mainstream America. Yes.